Hey there, ADB024, Aaron here in southern Willamette Valley outside Eugene, Oregon. And what I have behind me here is Fern Ridge Dam. And, well heck, this, this is my old playground, okay? In the summertime I used to be able to come down here and go swimming in the spillway there. And it makes a nice whirlpool. And there's more fun swimming in that whirlpool than uh, any swimming pool or any lake. So it was a fun time as a child coming here. But, uh, you know, and I used to do a lot of fishing here and all that. Right off the bank here, you can catch uh, carp, trout, bluegill, a lot of catfish. And But one thing is this dam was built around 1940. doesn't have a fish ladder, so it's, it's, it's odd that the, uh, the fish can't get upstream here. And it doesn't have any hydroelectric uh, power. You know, I, I admit it is uh, definitely weak uh, water flow there. And so when it was built, it wasn't even uh, sufficient enough to uh, put in a turbine. But uh, now today, with all this green energy talk, it seems like uh, any dam like this should have a, a hydroelectric turbine on it. And at the same time, uh, a fish ladder, a simple fish ladder. So you can see uh, this, uh, this heron here uh, hunting for fish. But uh, if you notice, there's ice everywhere today. So it's real rare in um, Oregon here to have such a uh, some cold weather, and we've had it going on for a week now. So I'm gonna go uh, find some ice and see if I can walk on it. Uh, I'll also get up to the top of this dam, show you around. All right, guys. So I'm at the uh, the top of the dam here, and what it is is. There's a large section of the dam that is landfill, and it was replaced just uh, a couple of years ago. They drained the reservoir for a year or two and replaced the landfill dam. So, did a lot of work on this. As you can see, this is the landfill part of the dam. And the reason why is this land is all flat. This used to be farmland, and you know, this is the Willamette Valley. It's farmland. That's why we all settled here. And as you can see, these ponds here, all along here, this pond, they call it Kirk Pond, but what that is, is where during the uh, original construction of this, that was dug out and that dirt was put here to build the uh, the dam. And here's the, uh, the reservoir, but like all reservoirs, it's drained during the uh, winter for flood control and like I said it's cold and look at this we have people walking out in the middle of the lake um, and you know what they are a long ways out there I uh, I wouldn't do what they're doing really I wouldn't get that far away from uh, <laughs> the uh, the banks I mean that's pretty that's pretty nuts here's their uh, their trucks parked down here by the dam and they're uh, they walk clear out here. I don't know. I've always had uh, pretty bad luck when I walk on ice. So, but uh, I'm amazed. They're uh, maybe they'll do some ice fishing. And let's go check it out. Here it is. These guys uh, got me out on the ice here. Got me walking. Okay, I just don't want to get the camera wet. Here, here's the uh, the back side of the dam. Pretty cool. It's uh, frozen out here, and here's some some ducks right in the middle of the ice. Yeah. I can hear the ice cracking in spots. So uh, I've never had good luck with the ice. Uh, what do you got? A, a duck? Yeah. All right, I don't want to get all close to. Okay, he can get up here. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh yeah. Look at that. A duck frozen in the ice. Wow. And here's its friends in a little They're spot. All like, ah, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Gone. Is that your red truck over there? Uh, no. Oh, no. There, there's some excitement. 
Hey there guys, I'm uh, back behind the uh, Fern Ridge Dam project office and I, I uh, try to look for a little museum. All they have is a, a, a sign that was taken out when they did redo the, uh, the landfill part of the dam, but it's pretty uh, interesting back here. So here's just uh, construction of the dam in uh, 1940 and of course here's uh, 1939 before the uh, actual uh, dam was constructed in this area. You can see how it was uh, all farmland and uh, so, but uh, constructed without fish ladder and without hydroelectric uh, generators. So uh, not real efficient to t today's standards. So, uh, but uh, talking with the guy here, that's something possibly uh, in the works. So that's great. Yeah, interesting. Notice this uh, old uh, rock quarry here from when they uh, constructed it and blasted rock out of there to make the uh, concrete. But there it is. Hopefully they'll uh, get this uh, billboard here back up later. But uh, I guess it takes a lot of work with you know government. Uh, restrictions and policies for uh, I don't know it's just nuts okay so uh, here's where that sign used to be on this uh, concrete slab here and I'm told they took it down when they reconstructed the uh, the landfill part of this dam and they can't put it back up because they haven't had uh, allocation of funds for it and uh, they have to have um, permit sign numbers so uh, apply for a sign number within the government I don't you know what give me a break this is insane I mean that that's just how the government's working they can't do crap nothing can get done